Is someone going to finish off these baked beans? I'll have them. Oh, heck, you've got all the legs. Do you want some? No, ta. I hope you're not on one of these daft diets. You've eaten a sparrow's breakfast this morning. Don't have to worry about me. What's your time, you two? I don't want you in trouble at work. We need your wages for this here move, whatever it's to. I'm going to be watching you like a hawk today. I've told you, there's nothing wrong with me. Well, if you go to the loo, I'm coming with you. Look, I've had a sicky stomach for a few days, that's all. Kirsty, I'm not daft. I know what's going on. If you repeat your weird ideas to Mum, I'll kill you. She's got enough to worry about. This is going to take forever, Dad. Oh, stop whinging and keep grafting. Look, if we don't get this lot washed and cleaned and back to Holiday Village pronto, our bums are in a sling. What the heck are you doing? What's your problem? You giblet! What does that say? Dry clean only. You don't believe that. That is clothes makers and dry cleaners trying to stitch fork up. They tell you something won't wash, so they can charge you a fortune for cleaning it. This is the latest of your conspiracy theories, is it? It's a well-known fact. After you've left the shop, the dry cleaner does stitch your clothes in a washing machine. It's a well-known fact you're a pillock. Huh? How will you wash them clothes in there? They go all out of shape. They'll be ruined. I can stick this one's in. Oh, Dad, what are we going to do now? You can stick that lot in the back of the van. We'll have to take it to an express dry cleaning, isn't it? And let's just pray that they can salvage them. Oh. Mrs. Marchant. Mm. Oh, is James all right? Calm down. Everything's fine. We've taken James off the respirator and he's breathing very comfortably. You mean he's out of danger? Yes. Oh, thank God. I'd like him to stay for another 24 hours, just for observation. I thought he said he was OK. He is. Thank you. But we've discovered why the attack of Croup affected James so badly. Your son's asthmatic. He's never showed any signs. Any number of things can trigger it off. The point is, James will have to be on daily medication for a while. I'll see you after my rounds and we can talk it through. All right. I should have spotted it. Look, there's nothing we could have done to stop it. The important thing is, he's OK. Troubles the all grey leader. Wine bar takings and hit rock bottom. Last night's meagre return hardly covered your wages. Hard times, Eric. It'll get worse when the court takes your license away. You're such a comfort man, and we're stating facts. I suppose this means you'll be selling up to Caff and I'll lose my job. No way. What do you mean? No way is Cathy Glover going to profit from my misfortune, especially after what she's done to me. Eric, the wine bar will go bankrupt without a licence. If I were you, I'd take Cathy's offer. Take the money and run. I thought you were worried about losing your job. Well, let's face it, Eric, sometimes you just got to bow to the inevitable. Hey, Will. Hiya. You all set for this trial, then? Hiya. Oh, yeah, as ready as I'll ever be. Well, best of luck. I'm uh, sorry we can't come and watch. I'm afraid there's so much work on. Hey, don't worry. I borrowed this off Al. You'll be able to see exactly how we place tonight. <laughs> you have to, Terry, mate. I mean... I'm not doing it for fun, you know. I want to film every bit of action you're in. Then later we can study your mistakes. Hey, there won't be any mistakes. Oh, confident. Don't get too confident, mind. You're playing with big boys today. Mm. Well, I'm sure your mum and dad will be really proud of you. Yeah, it's a shame they can't be here to watch. Right, I'm ready. Shall we go? Hey, Munch! You've no option, Uncle Zack. The man's a robber. I could buy a new wardrobe of clothes for that. Well, if you don't get them clothes back in good nick, the only thing in your wardrobe's gonna be a prison uniform. How am I gonna pay for it? Well, don't look at me, I'm skinned! Dad, shut up, I need to think. Dad, I said shut up! What about the rent money, eh? <sighs> oh, no. Lisa will kill you. You don't need to know. I mean, something good will turn up on the scrap front and then I can replace the rent money. You're living in a dream world. Well, I've got to do something. Hey, now, not a word to Lisa, all right? See who's there? Here, Roy. 
Good girl. What are you on about you? This is my new smart no-nonsense image, is this? I'd have a rethink if I were you, Roy. The worst 70s throwback spring to mind. You two give over. Where are you going? I'm going for a pee. Fine, I'll come away. Here, Lip, hold on a sec. I just need a quick word with you. See, it's Shally 11. Can you keep an eye on them two for us while I shot Furley for lunch? Yeah. Do I get a supervisor's bonus, then? No, I'll give over. I won't be that long. We well, you know what they're like. If they spent as much time on cleaning as they did arguing, they'd be employees at year, them two. You must know why they're both at each other's throats. Roy, they're both fancy here. Really? Look at you, like a dog with two tails. No, they're too young. Ah, oh, that'd be right. Cos I often see you beating older girls off with a stick. I've had me moments, I'll have you know. Only moments. Shame. Hi, Roy. Like a new haircut. Like a new haircut. Such a creep. You're just grumpy because you don't stand a chance with him. Yeah, well, I bet you a tenner he asked me out before the end of the week. You're on? Easiest money I'll ever make. Where are you off? I'll have to get some expert advice. About what? It only happens once a year, Marlon. What does happen? You actually talking some sense. It's time I outflated the wine bar. Really? If Cathy pays me the full market value, she can have it. I'm afraid it means you're losing your job. Never mind, eh? Uh, maybe it's time to move on. <laughs> Couldn't put it better myself. Cathy's gonna get more than she bargained for. <sighs> what do you mean? You'll see. Smell your breath. I'm getting seriously brassed off with you. Breathe. <sighs> Happy now? How many mints have you had? Oh, I've had a mint, so what? So, you've got a problem, Kirsty. Face up to it. Otherwise, you're going to become really ill. Stop it, will you? I ain't got anorexia, bulimia, or hope. You treat me like I'm a freak. Everything's fine. <sighs> oh, I'm just so relieved. If anything had happened to James. Go home, have a shower, and get a few hours proper sleep. It's OK, I'll stay. I meant both of you. Come on, you've been here ages without a break. James is OK, and I'll hold the fort until you get back. Yeah, I suppose I could do with a freshen up. Why I'm bothering looking in here. There's nothing we can afford. Not unless you fancy living on Hotton's estate from hell. Well, what about one of the cottages over the road? Wake up, Lynn. They're for holidaymakers and weekenders. The rent's way out of our league. Mum, I was wondering if I could have a word about Kirsty. Oh, I am sick to death of playing referee between you two. Will you listen to me? What's the point? It's always the same flaming stuff. Kirsty's nicked me makeup. Kirsty's borrowed my shirt without asking. Good grief, Lynn. You're 17. Isn't it about time you started rising above all this? She's your younger sister. It's a job to wind you up. I know, but I'm worried about her. Oh, well, I wish somebody'd worry about me. Do you know I'm fed up of my life right now? You stop being so damn selfish just thinking about your own problems. Oh, right. So it's just my problem we're homeless, is it? That'd explain why I've been running about like a blue arse fly with no help from my daughters, trying to find us somewhere to live. I'm sorry, I won't think in. Don't worry about it, love. You two just carry on with your petty rows and your fallings out, and as if by magic, Mum will save the day. Just take me out, will you? No, Lynn, I've had enough. If you and Kirsty have got problems, then sort it out between you. I'm off to help Alan open up. If you want something to eat, get it yourself. You're gonna pay for that. Takes for the job. Anyway, I'm not. Fine. Maybe I should tell Roy that you're still a thief then. I should endear him to you. Shut it, frumpy chops. 
All them years sat on a horse has made your bum go fat. I don't think ride goes for the larger woman. At least I keep myself fit. So do I. I saw you on that silk course. You look like a cart horse gone lame. That's hardly what I'm best at. What is? Running from the police? Swimming, actually. <laughs> I'm like a dolphin in the water. Will you two give it a rest? I don't look good in front of punters. Should we be rude about my swimming? I'm in the lead school team, you know. Mind seeing you in a swimsuit, actually. Cheap. So what's your speciality? I'm good at everything. Um, back crawl, butterfly. All right. Let's see how good you really are. <coughs> oh, flipping heck! <coughs> what's the matter? Have you got your hair wet? Boy, what the hell's going on here? Oh, don't worry, she's only messing up. <coughs> she's drowning, you pillar! Call an ambulance. <coughs> All right. You sure? You shouldn't have lied. You could have drowned me. I saved your life. You pushed me in, your cow. That is enough. You two are on a final warning, and you, Glover, better seriously buck up your ideas. How's it my fault? You're meant to be in charge here. Now get this rabble sorted, or you'll be looking for another job. I saw it. Yeah, and you do it pronto. Nice one, Gus. You've really dropped me in it, then. Terry, switch that thing off, will you? I just wanted to record you. Going into club for the first time. I thought you said that video was for coaching purposes only. Yeah, well, who knows? In a few years' time, they might use this bit of video when you're on This Is Your Life. <sighs> hey, come on. I want to introduce you to me old coach. Oh, please, Terry. I'm nervous enough as it is. All right. Switched off. Right. Hey, I could have bought nearly 150 pints for what this lot's got to clean. Quick, Wingen, it's a race against time now. If we don't get these safely back by five, Royal Dob you in. He wasn't there. I'd break his arm. Fair dues. Roy's only doing his job. Well, let's get on with it, then. Right. We're at Tags. The what? Where you write down the number chalet that the claws belong to. Andy, these were nicked. We weren't ever expecting to come back here with them. So how do you know whose stuff belongs to who? We don't. We're going to have to knock on every door. This is going to take forever, Dad. Flipping heck. That's all we need. Hide! It's all gone yet. Afraid you've missed him. you want to give you a warning like I'm frightened of you don't you ever try to make me look a fool again you don't need my help to do that <coughs> you're hurting me from now on you keep your fat posh face away from me all right let go all right hey 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 what are you doing just mucking about this is not a playground that's rough and tumble you better remember what I said, otherwise you're going to get hurt. And I mean it. You got a minute? Eric, I'm trying to serve customers. Fine, I'll sell the wine bar to somebody else. You're letting it go? Do you buy my share of the business or not? You know I do. Why the sudden change of heart? Why, indeed. Thanks to your unprincipled scheming, you finally forced me out. Have a good gloat, Cathy. You won. You forced yourself out. <laughs> as much as it's a treat talking with you, I've got better things to do with my time. Oh, expect an official value tomorrow. We'll see exactly how much the place really is worth. Uh, hang on, Eric. I've already.
somebody offered you a price for the business? Yes, well, frankly, I think it's under market value. You're getting back what you originally paid for your half. Considering how far you've run this business into the ground, I think I'm being very generous. Excuse me, I've sunk a small fortune into this place. Refurbished it. Built up a stock of wines and spirits. You lost yourself your license, Eric. You're quite lucky I made the offer I did. It's a buyer's market. We'll see. There's got to be another way round this. I wish there was, Lady Oakwell. But believe me, this is the only way you're going to be able to pay the death duties. Hiya. What's the news? I just thought I'd let you know that he's coming out tomorrow. So we can both get back to work the day after. Oh, you must be so relieved. I really don't want to go through that again. There can't be anything worse than worrying about a seriously ill child. Oh, Kim, Laura Johnston, my lawyer. She's helping me sort out my father's will. These things can take ages, can't they? <laughs> I'm just staying on for a few days to sort out the finer details. Kim's my partner in the stud farm. Oh, yes, I thought I'd heard the name before. Hmm. I hope you don't mind me taking another day off. Oh, we'll cope. The important thing is to get James settled back at home. Yeah, thanks. Bye now. I'm glad her little boy's OK, but it's a shame she's back on the scene. It was very handy having her out of the way. I should have to find out the truth sooner or later. Everyone will. Come on, Will. Show him your heels. No. He's as nervous as I am. Silly doors. Let's see if he can work himself into the game. Ah, oh, well, like I say, he's fast. Once he gets up to pace, you'll see why I've been raving about him. He needs to work on his upper body strength. There's not much meat on the lad. See what I mean? Thank you. He looks as good as new. Thank you, you've done a great job. Well, we have to please. That'll be eight pounds, please, madam. Oh, excuse me while I fetch my purse. You've got a brass neck. Well, I'm perfectly in them. I'm just trying to get my money back. You're charging eight pounds? Uh, apologies. My colleague has just pointed out that you got it cleaned on special offer. There's a quid off. Thanks. Hello, Roy. What are you doing? Just looking after another happy customer. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm afraid Mr Dingle won't told about today's extra special offer. Courtesy to all his guests, we'll be dry cleaning all garments free of charge. Oh, Marvellous. Thank you very much. It's OK. And if you charge us any more money off any more guests, I'll be straight up to home farm telling Chris Tate what you've been up to. All right. Hey, what's wrong with you? You're like a startled rabbit and headlamps. Oh, come on, Terry, let's face it. I'm way up my depth. Rubbish. Your problem is that you're running at them like an headless chicken. You've got to use your loaf. What do you mean? You've got to remember the moves that we practised. Stay calm and think. Be daft to blow your big chance just because of nerves. Come on, lads. Thanks, Terry. Seeing enough, I'm taking your lead off. Hey, hey, Baz. Um, give him another ten minutes, eh? No. No, hey, please. For old time's sake. All right. Told you it'd come good. Didn't have far to go. Ah, well, maybe. But it was determination that got on there. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dad. Oh, you want to cut down on that if you're going to find cash to replace that rent money? Give over. It is my only luxury in life. I remember this old school history book at school, right? It had this really gory picture in it. 
What are you on about? An highway man, undrawn and quartered. You want to get hold of it? What the heck for? Because <laughs> that's what you're going to look like when Lisa finds out about the rent money. <laughs> oh, shut up, man. Hey. <laughs> you get them flaming coats sorted? Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, they're all returned. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Where do you get the cash to pay for the dry cleaning? I sold a lot of scrap yesterday. Really? Really? <laughs> Wish I knew what tricks Paul had up his sleeve. Yeah. Still, he's obviously going to sell up to Cathy, thanks to a little help from her friends. Mm. So were you. You've hardly said a word. Oh, I'm worried about something. You're not pregnant? Oh, shut up. No, it's Kirsty. She's pregnant? Oh, forget it, Marlon. said he was fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just hasn't got a shot of his nerves yet. Look, Teddy, let's level. You know and I know that he's not the finished article. I just don't understand it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, in training, he's lightning fast. Take him to an athletics coach, but forget about rugby, will you? He's tactically naive. His handling's not so bright. And he doesn't have the physical strength to cope with lads like these. OK, so maybe he's not a natural. But neither was I. Took a lot of work before I were half decent. Terry, you had more than your fair share of natural talent. This lad, it's a long way off. So what are you saying? Maybe you pushed him into it a bit too soon. Change of clothes for James. I didn't. It's in the back. You were on the ball. And I even remembered. A little spud. Thanks, Steve. It's only a teddy. You know what I mean. How would I have coped without you? Come on, Will. Make yourself available. Let's okay, call it a day, eh? He's out of his feet. Why don't we try him at fullback, eh? Teddy, you're just prolonging the agony. Now the trial's over. <laughs> Stay still, don't move. <laughs> My shoulder. I think it's broken. You happy now? <laughs> 